cortisol is the silent body shaper and not in a good way. Cortisol is your body's main stress hormone. It's essential for survival, but too much of it for too long can cause significant damage. I'm Dr. Renanit Barron, and in this video, I will discuss 12 signs that your cortisol may be elevated, the difference between disease level cortisol and normal physiologic stress response, and what you can do if your levels are too high. A rounded puffy face, known as moon faces, is one of the classic signs of sustained high cortisol. This happens when cortisol shifts fat storage to the face, neck, and upper trunk. It's commonly seen in Cushing syndrome or from long-term steroid use, but not in people with just occasional stress. The second sign is buffalo hump. This is fat accumulation at the base of the neck and upper back. Like moon faces, it results from cortisol-induced fat redistribution and typically appears in more severe or chronic cases. Sign number three is purple stria. These are wide, purplish stretch marks on the abdomen, flanks, or thighs. Cortisol weakens the skin's collagen, so the skin breaks down more easily under tension, leading to wider, more pigmented stretch marks than what we expect in regular weight gain. The fourth sign is easy bruising. Cortisol thins the skin and weakens the blood vessels, making you bruise with minimal trauma. Even minor bumps can lead to large bruises, especially on the arms or legs. Sign number five is central obesity. Excess cortisol promotes fat accumulation in the midsection, around the abdomen, and internal organs. This fat distribution pattern is often accompanied by thin arms and legs and is difficult to reverse without addressing the cortisol imbalance itself. Sign number six is muscle weakness. High cortisol can cause your muscles to break down over time. You may notice weakness in your legs or arms. You may have difficulty climbing stairs or standing up from a low chair, not because of pain, but because the muscles themselves are getting smaller and weaker. Sign number seven is insomnia or restless sleep. Cortisol is supposed to drop at night to allow your body to rest. When it stays elevated, it can make it harder to fall asleep and lead to frequent awakenings or cause you to wake up feeling unrefreshed even after a full night in bed. Sign number eight is hair thinning. Cortisol can disrupt the normal hair growth cycle. This may lead to increased shedding and result in overall thinning of the hair across the scalp. Sign number nine is acne and oily skin. Excess cortisol can stimulate hormones that increase oil production in the skin. This may cause adult acne, even in people who haven't had breakouts in years. Sign number 10 is elevated blood pressure. Cortisol raises blood pressure by making your body retain sodium and increasing the tension in your blood vessels. Sign number 11 is recurrent infections or slow healing. Cortisol suppresses the immune response and delays wound healing. You may notice that you get sick more often or that cuts, scrapes, or injuries take longer to heal than they used to. And finally, sign number 12 anxiety, irritability, or emotional numbness. Cortisol affects the brain chemicals that regulate mood and emotional balance. You might feel more anxious, more easily frustrated, or emotionally flat, even if nothing in your life has changed externally. So what are the causes of high cortisol? There are several reasons why cortisol levels can become abnormally high. Some are medical, and others are related to chronic stress or lifestyle. One of the most serious causes is Cushing syndrome, a condition where a tumor in the pituitary or adrenal gland causes the body to produce cortisol uncontrollably. Although rare, it's a dangerous condition that often requires imaging, hormone testing, and sometimes surgery. A common cause of high cortisol is the use of corticosteroid medications like prednisone or hydrocortisone. These medications are frequently prescribed for autoimmune conditions, inflammation, respiratory infections, or pain, and they can lead to all the same physical signs of Cushing's. In fact, long-term steroid use is the most common cause of medically induced high cortisol. But cortisol can also rise for reasons that have nothing to do with tumors or medications. This is known as physiologic elevation, when your body is under chronic stress, pain, illness, or sleep disruption, it naturally produces more cortisol. In the short term, it's a healthy survival response. 
But over time, if the stress isn't addressed, those elevated levels can begin to wear down the body. Finally, there is a condition called pseudo Cushing's. Pseudo means false or not real. Pseudo Cushing's looks like real Cushing syndrome. It's typically seen in conditions like alcoholism, major depression, severe obesity, or uncontrolled diabetes. The key difference is that once the underlying problem is treated, cortisol level usually goes back to normal. Let's be clear. The physical signs of high cortisol, like moon faces, thinning skin, purple stretch marks, and easy bruising are almost never caused by everyday stress alone. These changes point to a pathologic cortisol elevation, typically due to Cushing syndrome or steroid use. Facial puffiness, for example, is far more likely to be caused by poor sleep, too much salt intake, or even unrealistic aesthetic expectations, not high cortisol. So if you're seeing multiple signs, testing is appropriate, but don't assume every sign of fatigue or fullness is caused by cortisol. So if your cortisol is high because of things like lack of sleep, chronic stress, or overworking your body, here are a few ways to bring it down naturally. Start with sleep. That's when your body is supposed to recover and reset. Go to bed at the same time every night and try to sleep seven to nine hours. Avoid screens like phones or TV before bed. They keep your brain alert and can raise cortisol. Along with sleep, mental rest is just as important. Deep breathing, stretching, yoga, or even quiet time without distractions can calm your nervous system. These activities tell your body that it's safe, which helps lower stress hormones like cortisol. Your diet plays a major role too. Don't skip meals. Choose foods with protein, fiber, and healthy fats instead of sugary snacks. When your blood sugar goes up and down too quickly, your body may release too much cortisol. There are also natural supplements you can consider. Ashwagandha is an herbal supplement that has been shown in some studies to gently lower cortisol levels. And finally, balance your physical activity. Exercise is good, but too much intense exercise without enough rest can raise your cortisol level instead of lowering it. Make sure your body has time to recover between workouts and mix in lighter activity like walking or stretching. High cortisol can be damaging, but it's also measurable, treatable, and in many cases reversible. If you're concerned about symptoms, talk to your doctor, get the right labs and treatment. Please leave a like and subscribe for more medical insights from an endocrine perspective. See you in the next video.